fates, like one of my families is Tri-State, one of my families is New England. I just never picked a side. Dude. All right. <laughs> Back to the match. Hey, we, yeah. we, got Robin. we got plenty of Fire Emblem on the screen. I was lied to. I was also lied to. Cole <laughs> told me he didn't want to go Robin in doubles. All right, well, sometimes you got to do what you don't want to to get that W. And oh, my God. The Yo, professor. The plugged in? The pro <laughs> professor just told him to step out of class. Oh we got to talk. God, dude. Jeez. I was not ready for such an early stock, but blue team was so composed. Yo, no how to not DI 101. Right, All right. Yeah. So, a bit of a rough start for Woodstock and Pilgrim, but as far as their composition is concerned, I actually really like what Pilgrim and Woodstock are bringing yeah, to the table. Lucina, in my opinion, one of the premier uh, doubles characters. She's an amazing support. She anti-airs fantastically, yep. breaks zone, sets up well for combos. She's a fantastic character. Couple in the the damage and ground control you get from Pikmin, mm -hmm. and there's so much that can be at play here oh, for Red no. Team. <laughs> We're gonna get that extra credit just for the fans. Now it's four to six. Red Team has not been able to find any of that footing. Oh, big arc thunder. Good DI from MGW though, keeping himself in there. Wow, so good coverage from Pilgrim just not working out though, and now Red Team. Looks like they're in control. See what they can do with it. It's, it's worth knowing that because MGW plays such a wide host of characters, yeah. he has a really good understanding of how the counter play works for him. Oh, definitely. It's like, yeah. oh, I've been in disadvantage before at least once. I know where they don't want to be. I'm going to be there. Exactly. Like, where, where would they hate for me to be? I'll uh, post up. All right, nice charge, actually. A little brave to do it right in front of Pilgrim, but Pilgrim is not ready. I think it's a little too focused on Jewel. Yeah, they're bringing off into the 1v1. Jewel's the type of player that invites the scuffle to himself because yeah. Robin's a very, like, I don't, I want to say slow in the grand scheme of things, even though a lot of his moves actually got significantly quicker right. in Ultimate. But, like, you see him charging something. You see him waddling up with his sword in hand. Uh -huh. It's like, oh, it's time to fight. Exactly. It's time to <laughs> scrap. And then he just shoots lightning at you. Or you get juked, and all of a sudden Greninja is right down your throat. Right. And you don't want Frog down your throat like that. <laughs> Definitely not. And it looks like that is what they're getting right now. But Professor MGW sort of what, mixing up his approaches. I like it a lot. He's really commanding the space. I also want to give like a special attention to how Pilgrim has opted to play this game as Woodstock has just been outright bullied. Right. He has been playing like Secret Service for Woodstock. Yes. He's right on his shadow, constantly trying to just box out whoever's fighting Woodstock. And he's doing a good job of it. It's just that oh, there's the so much damage. Oh, no! Oh. There's oh, no. so much action going on in close quarters, and that's where Pikmin don't want to be in that kind of a situation. Right. They have great disjoints for fighting off their opponents. They have great ability to zone out. You can't do that when they're right in front of your nose. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for watching the highlight video. Down Smash, not going to take it, but they're still on the hunt. The Arc Thunder coming in. Oh, my God, dude. They're going for it all. All right, what do we got? Oh, no. Dude, the Leffen Sword. Unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, that was just unfortunate. That, uh, I Dancing Blade was ill-advised. I think that's what cost him the stock. But no worries. I think a slight change of game plan, maybe not losing that first stock so very early, can be exactly what the red team needs. And that's Pilgrim, gross. with a really unfortunate sort of change of fates here, you see he knows Jewel is going to do the regrab after that, and he ends up just <laughs> incidentally getting spiked from the L win. Like, he placed down air so well, yeah, and it was... Yeah. Purple Pikmin down there, yep. so you know he's going down. But then tech it to immediate Elwind, and it's like, yeah. Yeah, all right, well played. And like you said, he was playing Secret Service. He was making sure Woodstock could get away from the ledge, and it cost him the stock. Although it was still 2-4, to four, they would have been in a much better position had Pilgrim took the stock instead of getting his take. We're going into, uh, is that FD? That is Omega Corneria. Okay. So a good one, dude. I love the scenery. Good music, good scenery. Oh, I've never heard him say Alf. That's crazy. Oh! oh <laughs> I'm definitely trying to see what happens Like we get another character that shares a name with someone. Yes. Because like, I, I love, like, Roy! Can we not do Roy. Red Roy! Green. green Robin is... Yo, rest in pieces if you are colorblind. Uh, just take our word for it. Yes. There's a lot of red and green on the field. It's, it's very well coordinated. At least they're different silhouettes. So... Here we are, FD. Um, given the game plan that Pilgrim and Woodstock were kind of shoehorned into playing, I feel like this is a really good advancement. Yes. But 
This is also a very good stage for Greninja to just keep the floor to be his own. Yeah, I was going to say, we saw how good the ground control. Oh my god, Pilgrim. He did it. All right, nice connection. Two, finally got some revenge. I two, see you. Like, well placed aerials, well timed, and everything. Finally getting the stock, but rules out for revenge. <gasps> and he's going to get it. All right, meanwhile, let's not get in, uh, MGW trying to play a real game of Smash here. Yes, yeah, a nice, respectable game. <laughs> of Smash Brothers with percentages, reads. The gentleman's fist of cuffs yeah. out here. But no, all right. It's still split into these 1v1s. Now Pilgrim on the offensive to sort of let Woodstock play his game. It's been working out for him. Also, look at how Red Team has tightened up their play. Yes. They're making sure that they're very focused on center stage, working outwards. And it's such a good game plan because, like, it's kind of difficult to juggle Green Team's characters. Right. But when they have all that space to play with and the battle's going to naturally flow to the ledge, they're getting their extra hits here and there. They're picking off that damage. Oh, wow. The Arc Thunder is going to connect in. Some suboptimal DI is going to cost that stock. A nice answer back. Once again on the offensive, Jewel starts cooking. I'm, I'm worried for Red Team. Yeah, stocks have been flying left and right on this one, but like somehow Green Team's ending out on top in these trades. Like, Red Team's putting on a ton of damage, but then they'll both be off stage, and MGW is just going to welcome them back with Sherry Kings and Swords alike. And that was a huge save from MGW, by the way. Woodstock was starting to F Smash to catch Jewel's landing, but MGW came with a near. Oh my god. Great stuff to do. Unfortunate team kill. Friendly fire. Not gonna be what they needed. So I can answer back one more time. Do we get a regrab punish here? Yes, we do. A quick one. Lucina coming in hot. That forward smash. Only killed otherwise. That's Lucina at the ledge, baby. Yep. You can't be with him and swing at you like that. Exactly. Alright, we can see another gimp here. But Pilgrim stuck with only a purple Pikmin. He's gonna need to get some room to breathe. I mean, that is still Purple Pikmin. Yeah, you can, you can hear the whistle because you know Purple is definitely what he wants to hold on to here. You know that up smash is plus five on shield? Yes. I love it. I'm also an old one. All right, 47%. I hate to just say it. Man, we say it like every double set. Like, oh, they can make it back. Blah, blah, blah. It's still doable. No. I don't know, man. Looks like going to have to pull it out of thin air if he wants it. He's going to need to play very exceptional. Exceptionally, that he is going to need them to play especially bad, if I'm being honest. It's just such a nice, I don't know, like a good position to be in. Yeah. Your green team and bad position to be in, Hangman, is the blast zone. Yes, indeed. I'm no expert. I hope I didn't. It seems bad. Oh, Robin's so thoughtful when he's done kicking. Yeah, right? Ass. Yeah. That's, I love it. That's rude. I love the, the fact that they went through the trouble of like the character specific sort of like victory screens, and then he's just, just talking trash. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Lucina 